the chicks, you know what to do. <laughs> we got them. <laughs> Everything up there. Whatever you say, chicks go. I'm sorry, man. There's got to be some form of hitting by Slim Jimmy. So I guess the new trend in hip hop is to take old songs or all the classic songs and obviously remix it into your own version, which is something modern. It's actually not a new trend. It's been going on for a while. In this specific case, we have Millie's, who is an artist from Boston. I believe he signed to Jada Kiss, but I could be wrong. He put out a short little snippet of his own version of Stand by Eminem, and it was actually sounding pretty good. But Slim Jimmy had to jump in the comments to let him know, hey man, this ain't it. Slim Jimmy said, no, this ain't it fam. Shrimp 4, which is their album coming out next month, Shrimp 4 got the banging version. Sample cleared. And then Millie's responded back saying, um, buddy, I cleared the sample too, little dude, you be I. And then he went on to say, sup with these dudes. Little dudes mad at me, gotta be mad at their major labels for taking so long. Being independent means I can drop when I want. Song, drop at midnight. Millie's actually went on to drop his own version at midnight. Now the reason I say this is hidden by Slim Jimmy, it's because bro, you're not the only person that has the rights to make their own version of Stand by Eminem. He obviously got the sample cleared by the same person you went to to get you guys a sample cleared. And also two things can be right at the same time. You both can put out the same version and fans rock with both of them. It doesn't have to be this hating thing where he's like, no, nah, this ain't it, fam. Slim Jimmy, you guys are the bigger artist over Millie's. Let this up and coming dude get his shine. It's obviously not gonna dim your light when you guys' album comes out. Stan is a classic song. Obviously, people are gonna wanna remix it at random times. You just coming in and saying, no, nah, fam, that ain't it. Come on, man. That's a little bit of hate on there. And I'm not mad at Millie's response. Listen, man, if your label tells you you got to wait a certain amount of months in order to put out the song that you had, why is that my fault? If I'm independent and I could just call up Rosenberg and be like, hey, could you clear this for me? He says, yes, I can put it out the next day, brother. But you guys tell me, was Slim Jim hating or was he just speaking the honest truth? What do you guys think about Millie's version of Stan? Push comments below, subscribe to my channel, like this video, see you guys later.